Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. It is no doubt that many Imolites anticipated the potential return of Honorable Emeka Ihedioha as the Executive Governor of Imo State on January 11, 2021. It can be recalled that the set date was scheduled by the Supreme Court of Nigeria to hear a suit brought before it by Chief Philip Umeadi San, asking the court to enforce its judgment on the APC primaries for the 2019 Imo State governorship election. However, January 11, 2021 came and has gone with no report on what has happened to the suit, which many are arguably waiting to see its outcome. It can be recalled that many Nigerians have argued that the case offers the Supreme Court a rare opportunity to redeem its image following its previous judgment on January 14, 2020, that brought in Senator Hope Uzodema as the executive governor of Imo State, or allow only one man to reduce the whole Supreme Court of Nigeria to a laughing stock. While some are of the opinion that the suit is, in, is effort in futility, based on the grounds that the Supreme Court has already decided on the Imo State governorship election. No matter the school of thought one may belong to in this regard, it is, however, important that we understand the bone of contention in the Chief Philip Umeadi's suit, which is demanding that the Supreme Court enforce its judgment on the APC's primaries for the 2019 Imo State governorship election. It should be noted that Umeadi San is not in any way challenging the January 14, 2020 judgment, which brought in Senator Hope Uzadinma, but to demand that the Apex Court enforce her own judgment. It is in no doubt that judgment is nothing if not enforced. The judgment which brought in Senator Hope Uzadinma as the governor of Imo State was immediately enforced, which is why it's occupying the posi that position today. So was the judgment that disqualified David Leon, his deputy, and APC from the Bayasa State election enforced. This is why we have Senator Doye Diri as the state's governor today. As such, enforcement of the Supreme Court's judgments are not new to the country and can be argued to be where the power of the Apex Court is exercised. Therefore, Umeadi's suit demanding the enforcement of the judgments on the APC primaries for the 2019 Imo State Governorship election may not be effort in futility as many have argued. It can be recalled that the Supreme Court in December 2020 has ruled that Puchenwosu, a son-in-law to former governor of Imo State, Senator Rochas Okorocha, is the duly nominated candidate of the APC for the March 2019 Imo State governorship election. Leaving Senator Hope Uzadema as no candidate for the election. However, he, Uchenwosu, was also nominated by the Action Alliance, 
AA. This by implications as this by its implication as dual nomination disqualifies him and both political parties, the APC and the AA, from taking part in that election. With this judgment already passed by the Supreme Court, one may begin to wonder why the judgment was not enforced like other judgments. Therefore, the chief, Philip Umeadi San, suit should not be mistaken as one challenging the Supreme Court's judgment, but for the apex court to enforce her own judgment. Many Nigerians are anxiously waited and waiting to see if for any reason the apex court will fail to enforce her own judgment. And if so, what the reasons could be? But with January 11, 2021 now in the past, with no one saying anything about the outcome of the court hearing, we may begin to wonder about what could have happened to the suit. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? In a situation whereby the judgment of a Supreme Court is not enforced, the question is, what would be the implication? Well, to a very large extent, we keep our fingers crossed on this particular issue to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. One would ordinarily expect that the uh, judgment of the Supreme Court would have been uh, enforced, and where it has been failed, it, it has been failed to ex uh, to be, or it was failed to be enforced. The Supreme Court, or yes, the Supreme Court would draw the attention of the government or other particular other arms of government to that particular judgment and. Uh, it has to be enforced. But however, from the look of things, so that judgment has not been enforced. And from this report, that is what the case uh, of Barista Philip Umeadi is pursuing to achieve. Which, by implication, means that if the judgment is enforced, it means that Hokus Adema cannot occupy the position of governorship of uh, Imo State as they'll APC did not have a candidate in that election. So the question now is, the date of the supposedly hearing of the case has come and gone and nothing has been said. So now is, what is the way forward on this particular issue? What is the stand of the Supreme Court on this issue? What is the Supreme Court saying and what is the Supreme Court planning to do on this issue is the next question that we need to ask ourselves. From the look of things, the APC does not have a candidate in the Imo State Governorship election of 2019. So as a result, the APC has no chance and has no right to be occupying the seat of power. What will now be the judgment at the end of the day is the question that readily follows. The Apex Court, which is the Supreme Court, is yet to speak further on this particular issue, despite the fact that the date that was set for the hearing of the suit has come and gone. The question now is, what is the hope of the people? What is the world expecting? What is the country expecting? What are Nigerians expecting? What are Imolites expecting on this particular news story and this case? Well, however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story. What are your thoughts, guys? Will the Supreme Court still rule on this case? Will the Supreme Court still hear the suit? Or do you think the Supreme Court will throw out the case and throw out the suit? From the look of things, do you think that there could be any upset on this case eventually? Will Hope Uzadima continue as the governor or will he be removed based on the judgment available? Will Emeka Hedioha return as the governor of the state? Well, 
we keep our fingers crossed to see the drama that would unfold in the coming days, weeks, or probably months, depending on which. Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.